One of the top earners for the Colombo crime family was Michael Francis. Michael Francis was a capo in the Colombo crime family. Also, he was the son of former underboss Sonny Francis. Michael Francis, his father Sonny, uh, was a really tough guy, but he really raised his son right. And you can tell by what happened to Michael. You know, biggest gasoline scam, that was underground financier stuff before underground financier stuff existed in the mafia. And he did it correctly from a business perspective. Michael helped implement a scheme to defraud the federal government out of gasoline tax in the early 1980s. The Russian mob was involved with this gas scam. Michael was very charming, like some guy brought him that scam. That wasn't his invention. Some guy called him up, said, hey, Michael, I'm doing this. You want my support in this? And Michael said, sure. Michael Francis made a fortune in the oil business. Fortunes, absolute fortunes. And a lot of guys benefited from a lot of dollars. Michael Francis had 350 gas stations that he owned, operated, or sold products to. He had 18 companies that were licensed to collect the tax instead of giving it to the government. Instead, he kept it. He did this scam for seven to eight years. He made $10 million on a good week. This scam made him a capital. He gave 25% of his earnings to the Colombo crime family. And I also had an uncle that was involved in the Colombo crime family. He was a Colombo crime enforcer. His name was Vinny Aspermonte. He was uh, close with Michael Franzese at one time. And uh, my uncle lived in West Islip. And uh, he used to come over to my uncle's house. And I was there one day. And uh, I never spoke to Michael, but Michael nodded at me, hello. And they went out by the pool and they started talking. But my uncle really didn't like Michael. Um, he had some things to say about Michael. He only stayed with Michael because he was able to make a lot of money. And when I tell you a lot of money, I'm talking about duffel bags full of money. It, it You know, it's something out of a movie. Um, and they used to call my uncle Fat Vinny or the Butcher. And he was a big guy. And he used to carry two duffel bags. And this is the God's honest truth over each shoulder. And it was just stacked with money. It was insane. Michael went to trial five times for this case. Overall, he went down because of informants. He was sentenced to 10 years on racketeering charges. He was hoping that the mafia would forget about him, even though he knew better. When word spread out that he was quitting the mob, his father disowned him for 10 years. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from my documentary series about the rise and fall of the American mafia. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch each episode as they come out.